Hello and welcome to Indusio's live from Islamabad. I'm Jawad Ahmed, and these are the headlines. In Syria, at least 14 people have been killed and dozens wounded in an explosion in the northwestern town of Al-Bab. Locals say the blast occurred when a bomb-laden vehicle blew up in a crowded area in the town. Azerbaijan says it has liberated three more villages and several strategic heights from Armenia during the fighting over the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Azri President Ilham Aliyev said Army's successful operations are ongoing in the region. Meanwhile, Armenia's Ministry of Defense claims the fighting has slowed down because of international pressure. In Kyrgyzstan, the Election Commission has annulled the results of Sunday's parliamentary polls after violent protests. One protester was killed and over 500 injured in protests against the results of which handed victory to two establishment parties. India has failed to meet the second deadline set by a Pakistani court for it to appoint a lawyer for raw serving terrorist commander Kulbushan Jadav. During a hearing, Pakistan's Attorney General said India is not interested in pursuing the case despite Islamabad's repeated calls. Jadav had confessed to crimes of espionage and terrorism in Pakistan, after which he was sentenced to death by a court in 2017. West African leaders have lifted sanctions on Mali following the August military coup that ousted President Ibrahim Kiyata. In a statement, the West African state said the decision follows notable progress towards constitutional reforms. U.S. President Donald Trump has returned to the White House to continue his treatment for coronavirus after three-night hospital stay. America's COVID-19 death toll has crossed 210,000 with over 7.4 million cases. India has reported 884 deaths and over 61,000 infections in the past 24 hours, bringing the cases Delhi to 6.8 million. In Pakistan, six people died overnight, taking the death toll to 6,523. Globally, the coronavirus infection tally nears 35.4 million with over 1 million deaths. And that's all for now with the latest updates. You can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Coming up next is In Focus South Asia.